All right, everybody. Week 13 of the NFL season. Um, this is made immediately after the week 12 video. Of course, um, again, I will talk about Ravens Steelers on Thursday or whatever after that game is over. Uh, that's its whole separate video, and it just speaks to the testament to how Roger Goodell has handled the situation and how the NFL has handled the situation with Corona. There should be a Week 18 this year, but there's not. There's not a Week 18. I don't get why there's not. It doesn't make any sense. But here we are, 12 weeks into the season, and we haven't made a week 18 yet. We we have, you know, gotten some Saturday windows, you know, for the games later on in the season. But those are Saturday windows during, you know, conference championship games, in college football, and a couple bowl games, and, and some key basketball games, you know, stuff like that. So, mm, meh. And this is what week 13 looks like. Meh, for the most part. Just meh. And let's not forget that Matt Patricia is fired from the Lions. They're taking on the struggling Chicago Bears who have lost six straight games. They've lost like five of their last six or something like that. Looked absolutely terrible on Sunday night. I'm assuming that Mitchell Trubisky will be the starter still. And, you know, it, it just does not matter. This game really doesn't matter. Bears have fallen completely off a cliff and out of the playoff picture in a matter of minutes, you know, in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks, based on how bad their performance was on Sunday night. Absolutely dreadful. And then, you know, a lot of these other games aren't really that good either. Saints are taking on the Falcons. Now, the Falcons admittedly have been putting on a win streak lately, but they are all, they are pretty much already out of the playoff picture themselves. So, and I believe Drew Brees is coming back at some point. Who knows, Taysom Hill's still technically the starter right now. I'm not sure when Drew Brees is going to be back um, from his injury. Meanwhile, the Bengals are taking on the Dolphins. The Colts are taking on the Texans. The Jags are taking on the Vikings. The Raiders are taking on the Jets. The Giants are taking on the Seahawks. The, the, the Patriots are taking on the Chargers. The Eagles are taking on the Packers. The Broncos are... You know, they have three quarterbacks again, at least. They're taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs on Sunday. And then Monday, you know, the resurgent 49ers, they're taking on the Bills. You know, and the Washington football team is still taking on currently an undefeated Steelers. Now, that may change on Wednesday. So, again, that may change on Wednesday. And then, you know, my Dallas Cowboys have a Tuesday night game instead of a Thursday night game against the Ravens thanks to Corona and thanks to the Ravens and the Steelers getting COVID outbreaks. So what are you, so what are you thinking? You know, Mike, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, big boy? You know, what's what are, what are the big games on Sunday? Well, let me tell you. Rams Cardinals, big game AF NFC West implications and stuff like that you know Rams you know got a solid defense you know a solid offense Cardinals very solid offense and stuff like that that game is going to be stuck at 305 you know with a lot of other games as well and unfortunately the main draw what's going to be the main game at 325 is the Eagles and the Packers it's going to be rough. Let me tell you that. It's going to be very rough. It's going to be very rough for the Eagles if they don't get something going. You know, I mean, the, the season is looking like a lost cause, and the Eagles might not win another game this season. That's just how bad it looks for them right now. They do not have it. They do not have any sort of momentum. They do not have anything going well for them, and the Packers look to put the clamps on the Eagles. Now, I will watch this game, but only because I, I, I like to see the Eagles get beat up 
in a Sunday national window instead of a Monday night window because I don't like Monday night football no more, man. Monday night football is not good. But you got a Rams Cardinals. Keep an eye on that game. Again, the rest of the slate is not really appealing, but there is one game at noon that is very appealing. Eight and three. Cleveland Browns. Oh my goodness. Now the Browns haven't really had much of an offense, you know, for, you know, about a couple weeks now. And the Titans are looking very, very good. We're talking very good. You know, Derrick Henry running over people, trucking them. You know, you get A.J. Brown, you got John U. Smith, you know, out there for the Titans at receiver and stuff like that, tight end. And, and Ryan Tannehill is looking pretty sharp. But don't don't underestimate these Cleveland Browns. They got Kareem Hunt in the backfield. They got Nick Chubb in the backfield. They got Jarvis Landry at wide receiver. You know, and both these teams have some defenses that, you know, may not be the best defenses in the world, you know, but they get the job done. The defenses get the job done for both these teams. And this is going to be one hell of a game, let me tell you that. So, yeah. Really, I'm just more angry at the NFL throwing things completely off. My Dallas Cowboys were supposed to play another Thursday game, but instead we get you know another few days off to play on a Tuesday of all things. Well, you know, the, the Broncos were forced to play on Sunday, and the Ravens and Steelers game couldn't get pushed to Sunday like it was supposed to be. Then it was pushed to Monday. Then it was pushed to Wednesday. I don't get it. it no way. It was pushed to Tuesday. And then it was pushed to Wednesday. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. We need a week 18 in the NFL. We have needed a week 18. Not the 17 game proposal that, you know, ended up getting, you know, passed, stuff like that. Which. You know, 17 games for an NFL team is absolutely stupid, you know. But we need an 18-week season anyway. Two bye weeks for players and stuff like that. And this year has not given us a lot of compelling matchups. All the compelling matchups were, like, early in the season. The second half of the season, I knew, you know, looking at it, it looked rough based on the way things were going. You know, the Eagles, Cowboys were football team and Giants and the NFCs were looking pretty rough. So those primetime games for the NFCs are not looking so good right now. Not looking good at all. And the games that are looking good are stuck in windows that just do not make any sense. You know, we have Rams Cardinals stuck at 305 regional window while the Packers take on the Eagles in a national window. Disgusting. And then you have games getting moved left and right. I don't even know if, how this week's going to go with games being moved left and right. You know, yes, I already said, you know, again, you know, I've got to recap the Ravens Steelers game on a, on a Thursday when it's supposed to be Thursday night football. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Whatever. I'm disappointed in the NFL. Very disappointed in this league. You know, and I know, and I know a couple of people who subscribe to me are just like, "Oh well, this is what you get for watching the NFL." Blah 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 blah. Because there's, there's a couple of people that do not like the NFL at all on my channel. They know who they are. So, yeah, week thirteen, not a good look for the most part. Browns, Titans, Rams, Cardinals. Really, that's your best bet for good game. Of course, you know, it, it's any given Sunday around here, and there are teams that, you know, could get upset, you know, at some of these other teams that do not have good-looking records. And, I mean, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know. Because we're setting up for a weird finish, you know. We're setting up for a weird, weird finish. And it does not help that there's a 14-team playoff this year. And for years to come now. It does not help because we've really separated who's who are the haves in the NFL and who are the have nots right now. We've really separated that now. 
with with basically half the league going to the playoffs. So yeah, there's that. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Talk about the CFP rankings. Talk about the Maui Invitational. Talk about you know the um, Champions Classic. See ya.